Hey everyone, I'm Abby Sharp. Welcome to Abby's Kitchen and a morning in the life of a very busy mompreneur of two. I hope you brought your coffee. Now before we get started, of course, a quick disclaimer that what you're about to see and hear is in no way, shape or form a recommendation of what you should be doing. So of course, always speak to a healthcare provider about your unique healthcare needs. Also apologies in advance for the kind of crappy quality footage. I wanted this video to be as authentic as possible and I literally just woke up that day and was like, I think I'm gonna just start filming on my phone and today is going to be a morning routine vlog and that's what I did. But I also knew that if I set up my whole camera tripod situation that my kid would get like really grabby and hyper and it would totally make me like lose sight of that kind of genuine authenticity. So sorry about that, but at least you are getting a true authentic look at my morning. Yep, you read that right, 4 a.m. My day usually starts with a early morning feed, but honestly, I would way rather wake up to this sweet little kiddo than to an obnoxious alarm clock. So the snuggles in bed are always a really nice treat. So then I quietly brush my teeth and wash my face, trying not to wake my sleeping hubby. I'm currently using this reversal rosacea face wash and cream. I honestly don't know if it's helping, but I did find that I got rosacea during this past pregnancy and nothing is making it go away. So this was like a 2 a.m. Facebook ad purchase that I made and I'm not sure if it's helping yet, but I'm gonna try to stick with it to see it through. But leave me a comment below if you have other really great options or ideas for dealing with stubborn rosacea postpartum. Then of course my contacts go in so that I can see the world and my apologies if this totally freaks you out. And then I take my B12. All my other supplements I actually take before bed, but because I already struggle so much with insomnia, I really don't want to be taking anything that's even remotely energizing or stimulating too close to bedtime. So I usually grab a piece of fruit just for like a little bit of a carb boost early in the morning before I do a little bit of working out. And no, I would never eat a banana on camera. I don't wanna lose monetization, folks. And that would be far too suggestive to be safe for work. Let's be real. So then I try to get in a quickie workout and no, this is not a high intensity workout. This is pretty low impact. So I'm not doing any high intensity cardio. I'm really sticking to a lot of glute work, like the band work, and also some kind of low intensity core work to help with my diastasis recti, um, AKA my ripped up abs, courtesy of baby O. I'm also admittedly kind of out of good show, so feel free to leave me some good ones below. So I'm watching the trashiest show of life counting on, <laughs> and don't touch me, please. I am totally aware of the controversy with Josh and it is horrible, but there is something about this big family just like loving on each other and living this like simple, carefree, low stress life that's kind of a bit of an escape for me. And then we try to sneak in a little work. So I'm going to do as much as I possibly can before the kiddos wake up and also finish the rest of my water here, which I flavored with lemon today. And no, there is no kind of magical health benefits to drinking lemon water. It just tastes better than regular water to me. So it encourages me to drink more. <laughs> I actually much prefer limes to lemons in my water, but I did use all the limes that week to make dark and stormies. So yeah, priorities. And then we try to do a few chores. So the dishes go away, the dog gets fed, and the kids get up hungry and all hell breaks loose. Just, just joking, I, I am trying to get into a bit of a groove here. So for breakfast, I do try to eat with my son to model good eating behaviors. So today we were feeling a little bit like oatmeal. So in addition to the oatmeal, we had some peanut butter in there, some hemp hearts, some frozen cherries, some banana, I think. And then I picked out a few dino eggs from a packet of Quaker dino egg oatmeal. And I kind of buried those in there as well. So that's my little hack to make oatmeal more fun, but also still relatively low in sugar. So he gets to have some fun digging for the dino eggs and I feel like there's a lot of nutrition going into every little dig and bite 
He also had some leftover smoothie that I think had some frozen kale in it, some uh, frozen cherries, banana, um, some breast milk, a little bit of yogurt in there, maybe some hemp hearts. And then I had a slice of whole grain toast with some natural peanut butter and some homemade chia jam. Next, I got my groceries delivered. So of course I put all of those away. And I always try to wash everything before I put it back in the fridge or put it away. So that way it's like a really easy intuitive choice when I need a really quick fast snack. And speaking of snacks, after a little playtime with E, it's time for my baby O to go to bed for his nap. All right, getting ready for O's nap time. I feel like my life is just naps and snacks. I wish I could say that I love nap time, but in all honesty, they're so short. It feels like I spend more time kind of changing him and feeding him and getting him down and up from the nap than I actually get to enjoy the nap time itself. I'm gonna have a super fast shower because that's what I do these days if I even shower. And I'm definitely not gonna wash my hair because I don't have time for that and it doesn't look horrible. Maybe I will get to answer an email. These are things that I can only hope for. These are the things that dreams are made of in parenthood. Okay, so I think this is as glam as it's going to get today. A ponytail, no makeup because mama don't have time for that. Just do less. Now we coffee. Right now I'm kind of obsessed with this barista blend from So Nice, it's a soy milk, but I honestly switch up my milk choices every few weeks to keep my life sexy and wild. And of course now we get back to work. <laughs> Not for long. So if you ever wondered why moms joke about never having hot coffee, this is why. <laughs> We love our microwave coffee. I got a fun idea. Why don't we play a little drinking game where everyone gets to have a shot every time that Abby breastfeeds? I bet you'd be pretty drunk by the end of this video. Yeah, I would love a drink. I would love to join you, but I won't. So don't mom shame me, folks. I haven't even finished my damn coffee yet. So that'll be my drink of choice this morning. You are thirsty too, boy. On the topic of breastfeeding, I have to say this postpartum experience has been night and day compared to with baby E who I exclusively pumped for. But breastfeeding has been such a joy and I just feel like I've got such a nice, beautiful bond with him. It's so lovely. He, he loves me, of course. He loves me when I when I go away for the day working and he come and I come home and he's just so excited to feed and just like the smiles. Oh, while I'm just sitting here, I thought I would kind of explain to you why I don't do a lot of these kinds of videos and why I don't show images and footage of my kids like a lot of other YouTubers. I chose this life, I chose a public life. Everything, you know, is out there on social media when it comes to me. But my children did not choose this. And maybe one day they will. Maybe they'll wanna be YouTubers and I will gladly help them get there if that is their, their goal in life and that's their dream. But until then, I wanna respect their privacy and let them build their own online presence. And also I just wanna protect their, their safety and their privacy. So these are, this is kind of a, 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 an agreement that my husband and I came to before we had kids was that I can continue doing what I do and I'm, I love what I do and he respects that as well, but we keep the kids out of it. So that's why you only see hands and the occasional feet and maybe hear a squawk or two. All right, that is all. And it's at this point that we attempt some playtime. This is usually around the time where I get about a million emails coming in. Um, o gets hella cranky and I realize it's only 10 a.m. So when all else fails, dance party. <laughs> Mama can't hit those notes anymore. Now with E back from being outside and O awake in the bouncer, it's time for a little snack. Recently, E and I have been loving whole wheat English muffins because they're just the perfect size for making small little snack size sandwiches. I totally wanted this to be an omelet, but I don't think I've ever successfully flipped an omelet in my entire life or career. Anyways, then I just smashed up a little avocado, smeared that onto my English muffin, threw on the eggy, and ta-da, we've got a really quick, easy, healthy, delicious Sammy snack. After our quickie meal, it was time for O to go down for another nap. And I attempted to read him a storybook, mm, but let's just say he wasn't feeling it. No, we're tired. Crunch, munch, that noise again, whoever could it be? 
kitties. Well, folks, there you go. A little 4 a.m. morning routine vlog for you. I don't even think it was noon by the time I actually finished that video. A lot of nothing got accomplished that day, but sounds like my day every day. But if you liked that vlog, definitely leave me a comment below for other ideas that you'd like to see me do vlogging style. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time on Abby's Kitchen. Bye.